Welcome into Fox 16 Sports. I'm Nick Walters. The Razorbacks' loss to Georgia last weekend still stings. It has fans restless. A star player for the Hogs we didn't see much of was running back Rakeem Boyd. That's right, Rakeem the Dream. But Georgia's defense is still leaving us with nightmares. 21 yards on 11 carries. Ouch. That's brutal. In fact, Boyd's 21 yards rushing marked his lowest since 2018 when he only rushed for five yards against Missouri. It's not all bad, though. According to head coach Sam Pittman, Boyd contributed in more ways than just the run game. But his production needs to be better this Saturday. He was a, a very, very good blocker in pass protection, and, uh, and he led uh, the entire game on the sidelines. And... Certainly, he wants to do better for the football team and himself in 20 yards. O line's got to get better. A lot of things go into that, but certainly, if he'll stay the same as he he has been, he'll he'll end up having a good year. Up next for Arkansas, Mississippi State. The Bulldogs just took down defending national champs LSU 44-34. Quarterback K.J. Costello threw for over 600 yards, shattering the SEC passing record set back in 1993. Named the Davey O'Brien quarterback of the week, Costello came to Mississippi State from Stanford, and clearly he's already in a groove leading Mike Leach's air raid attack. So could he be the next successful quarterback to play for Leach? He's off to a good start, and, and you know, but it's how many times uh, you could do it in a row and how consistent you are, but I do think uh, the ultimate thing that uh, you want out of your quarterback is to elevate the play of the players around him, and I think KJ does a really good job of that. Central Arkansas is 2-0 and in FCS play this season, but UCA's biggest test is yet to come, guys. The Bears head to Fargo to face North Dakota State on Saturday. The Bisons are one of college football's most dominant dynasties, winning eight of the last nine FCS national championships, including 2019. Coming in as underdogs, Nathan Brown knows his team will have their hands full. A ton of talent on the team. They've done a great job recruiting. They recruit against the FBS programs. You look up and down their roster, I mean, they've got some three star, some four star talented players. Just a complete football team in all three phases of the game, and, and they've done that for about 10 plus years now. We're the only ones in this circle that believe we can win. I mean, I would say that nobody across the country is going to expect us to, 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 to win the game. You look, you know, we think we're a three touchdown underdog, which, is, which we probably should be. The first week of conference play in high school football is over. Like any week, we saw some pretty awesome plays, and it's time to show them off. Here's our top plays from around Arkansas last week. You know what time it is. 